Hello and welcome on Swishing the Nets, Sri Lanka's first ever basketball talk show. And today on the talk show, we have uh, two very interesting personalities joining with us, two ladies joining with us on Swishing the Nets, two ladies who, who will represent the Sri Lanka in the upcoming 3x3 World Cup, which will be happening in uh, China. Uh, joining with me is Silomi Gunasekar, who actually led the uh, Sri Lankan team in Malaysia in the recently concluded 3x3 Asian Championship. And she will also be leading the team uh, to the upcoming 3x3 World Cup as well. And on to my far left is Leah Hamsa, who will be uh, representing Sri Lanka the first time. And she will be representing Sri Lanka on the World Cup that will be happening in China. Welcome both of you on thepapri.com. Thank you. Uh, let's first talk about, uh, let's first rather talk with Salome. Uh, we spoke to the boys team last week and today we are going to talk with you about uh, the win, uh, about how you went on to qualify to the quarterfinals in the recently concluded 3x3 Asia Cup. Uh, how, how was the feeling? How, how did you all manage to do that? Yeah, it's awesome uh, because uh, the first time Sri Lanka qualified for the quarterfinals and from uh, the women's team and uh, they are stronger than us and <laughs> that's the different of compared the two teams and we are smaller than them. Uh, it's a grateful, uh, amazing moment to play as a national team and the captain of the team. Uh, that's all. <laughs> Uh, Sri Lanka went on to beat uh, Kazakhstan in the first match and they lost to Malaysia and unfortunately they lost to Indonesia in the quarterfinals but rather it was, uh, it was a really good tournament for Sri Lanka overall for both boys and girls because they had a brilliant run in basketball and we went on to beat Japan in any format of the game in the history of basketball as well. Let's talk with La Hamsa. You're, it's the first time you're coming into the team to represent Sri Lanka yeah. and it's also World Cup not just another tour so how do you feel about it? How's your preparation from your side? So um, I'm a little nervous to be honest, like naturally, <laughs> but uh, I'm super honored to represent my country and uh, and I'm really excited and to work with the other girls and the coaches and the other respective members. Like, it's a I'm so grateful to be given this chance and just we've been practicing a lot and working on those. Uh, working on the preparations and I'm just really excited to uh, have this opportunity. Uh, if I ask you specifically uh, what are you preparing most during the practice sessions mm -hmm. as a team coming mm -hmm. uh, for the World Cup? Um, so one of our key focuses has been fitness at practices because that's really important to our game, uh, the strength and uh, working on this it's going to make us smarter players, we'll be able to play when we're tired so our coach has been focusing a lot on fitness which I think even though it's tough it's a really it's a really good uh, facet of the game so then we've also been working on skills and just making good decisions so yeah. Uh, Salome you're going into this tournament with a high mentality you performed really well in the Asia Cup as well so how are you planning as a team as a captain or what are your plans coming to the World Cup? Uh, actually we like to uh, play as a teamwork that's a great uh, thing as a team uh, and work hard to the uh, World Cup uh, challenge and I like to um, be a good captain for the World Cup tournament. Uh, if I ask you, Le, uh, you're joining to the team new. The, these girls have already played the Asia Cup and they're going to the World Cup. Uh, they've already adapted to that mentality. So how yeah. are you going to adapt to that mentality? Um, so from the early days, the coach has been telling us a lot about the game and how the other players work and what we should be expecting. So I'm just just I don't know, just easing into it to, yeah, getting used to the game and the changes. And it's a lot more work. So obviously this is the World Cup, it's a big thing. So the other players have been really helpful settling into the game and how practice works. So the team is helping a lot with adapting to the way um, the preparations are. So, yeah. Uh, let's talk about the fast track program as well. Uh, your team will be touring to Malaysia right after yes. the World Cup. If you just can enlighten us about the FIBA fast track program. Sure. So the FIBA fast track program is this uh, it's a really good program that Sri Lanka has been involved in uh, it's it involves a lot of other countries so in Malaysia after the World Cup tour we'll be uh, joining some other countries um, for a training camp so yeah that's really interesting and we're super excited and honored to take part if 
I give you one more chance to speak to all the fans and what you got to tell them just before the World Cup? Um, thank you uh, all the people who helped to come this uh, tournament a success and thanks for the all uh, who uh, uh, come to the court and help us uh, in numerous ways they help us um, thanks for Ajit sir to give this opportunity to me as a player um, and uh, our assistant coach is Sivasakti Sarvaraja he is coach uh, as a team leader and thanks for him also and thanks for um, Christy sir to give this opportunity thank you and thanks for the captaincy and thanks for the federation to give me this opportunity thank you um, just like to thank everyone the uh, respective the basketball fed federation CIS C Colombo International School my my school and my coach who oh, have helped so much thank you and uh, Selva sir Christy sir Ajit sir they're all a really important part to this whole process so thank Thank you. Um, hi to my friends at school and to my mom, dad and my sister. So yeah, thank you. I thank them also. <laughs> thank you very much ladies for joining with us and sharing your thoughts about the upcoming World Cup and the recently concluded Asia Cup as well. Wishing you all the very best and go make Sri Lanka proud right in China. Uh, these ladies will be uh, participating in the 3x3 World Cup which is happening in China on 28 June and of course a detailed preview will be going on the puppet.com in a couple of weeks time. So stay locked and the Mercantile Basketball League which is going to start next week we've been talking about it for, we've been talking about it a lot and uh, two previews were out during the uh, during this week you can find the links right below in the description so stay locked as we will keep you informed on what's happening with the vote as well you can vote to your most favorite team of the mercantile basketball league 2017 as well so a lot of basketball happening a lot of international basketball happening during this month the um, FIBA Asia Cup is also coming, then the World Cup, the Senior Men's World, World Cup which will be happening in France is also coming up. We'll be talking about that as well and hopefully we can get the coach and uh, two players from the World Cup team as well in the next week segment. Let's look at that and inviting you to stay tuned and meet until next week. Keep sharing the passion together with us.